So if you've ever wanted to leave an assignment for a substitute but students not to start working on it until like 20 minutes into the period so you know they're doing something else first, you can use Google Classroom to schedule an assignment. So I was absent yesterday and I had my students make a Lego about themselves. Simple assignment that they're going to use for a few projects so they're not using their actual real photos. And I didn't want them to start this assignment, I'll put the directions here later, until 20 minutes into the period because otherwise they won't focus on the other stuff. So this little down arrow here allows me to schedule it. I've already figured out that 20 minutes into fifth period would be 1246. I put that into classroom once already so it automatically assumes that's when I wanted to start. But it sets it for the next day and I wanted it for today. So 20 minutes into the period, it will show up. Until then, it sits here at the top for its under scheduled posts. If I want to make changes to it or I forgot to add the Google Doc to it, I can add that here. But you're probably thinking, what about adding it to 6th and 7th period? When you schedule a time, you cannot schedule a time for multiple classes at once, unfortunately. So if you want to do this in 6th period also, I would reuse the post from 5th period. I click reuse. And again, I just need to change the time and schedule it. So I've already done this before at 1.41 because that's 20 minutes into the period. So it kept the time for me. I just need to change the date. So again, if I want to keep scheduling them for all the other classes, so I can do my seventh period also, I can reuse the post from fifth period called Lego Yourself. It's the one that's still scheduled. Reuse and schedule the time. Decide, make sure the date's correct. And now they're all set for my classes, and they won't show up on the kids' stream until 20 minutes into the period, so hopefully they're doing the other stuff first. Hope that helps.